Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about the Edmonton Oilers and more specifically Jay Woodcroft and the coaching staff. Should the Oilers fire Jay Woodcroft? Well, there's actually two questions that I would like to try and answer. Should they fire Woodcroft versus will they fire Woodcroft? Let's take a look at Jay Woodcroft's time since he took over the head coaching duties on February 10th, 2022. As head coach, the Oilers have a combined record of 78 wins, 41 losses, and 13 overtime or shootout losses. That equates to a winning percentage of 59%. Heading into this season, his winning percentage was 63%. The team has a killer power play, but the penalty killing leaves much to be desired. On the surface, his record is solid despite some shortcomings, and you might be asking why a team would even consider firing a coach with a solid record. Well, if you look at just this season, the Oilers have stumbled out of the gate, going 2-9-1 in their first 12 games. They have a negative 19 goal differential, and they're coming off a regulation loss to the San Jose Sharks. Since beating their provincial rivals at the Heritage Classic, Edmonton has lost four straight games in regulation. Their starting goaltender, Jack Campbell, has been sent to the minors, and Stuart Skinner hasn't been able to find his game after being named a Calder Trophy finalist and All-Star last season. Many pundits and analysts pegged the Edmonton Oilers as a Stanley Cup favorite heading into the season, and the team has performed more like a rebuilding lottery team over one that has championship aspirations. So, let's go back to the question from earlier. Do I think the Oilers should fire Jay Woodcroft? The short answer is no. The long answer is a bit more complicated. When looking at some advanced metrics this season, the Oilers are being undone by poor goaltending, low team shooting percentage despite controlling the majority of the play, and they have the second best expected goals for percentage in the entire NHL at even strength. Now, I scripted this. I wrote second best. It's actually the best after their game against San Jose. You guys can take a look at that top row there on natural stat trick. Uh, again, natural stat trick. Everything's at 5v5 here. Best expected goals for a percentage in the entire league. So the team is playing well if you're looking at the numbers, but they keep finding ways to lose and they can't seem to find their scoring touch. I know their luck is going to turn around whether Woodcroft stays on or not, because it is not often that a team puts up this type of expected goals for a percentage and doesn't find a way to rebound. Right now they have a 38% goals for a percentage and it just, that's, just a way too big of a discrepancy to not regress to the mean. Um, but the more complicated answer is that if the Oilers fired Woodcroft, I wouldn't be surprised or shocked. Under his tenure, young players like Yessa Pugliarvi and Kyler Yamamoto regressed heavily when he took over from Dave Tippett in 2022. When the Oilers are down in a game, he will put McDavid and Dreisaitl on the same line to try and generate offense, but he does this at the expense of ice time for his depth or role players down the lineup. He has a nasty tendency to play younger forwards less than 10 minutes per night, sometimes less than 5 minutes per night, if it's a young call up from Bakersfield, he doesn't seem to trust anyone in the lineup to score or get the team back into a game unless it is one of his core players in McDavid, Nugent Hopkins, Dreisaitl, Hyman, or Kane. The penalty kill has also never improved under Jay Woodcroft's watch. Now, some might point to Dave Manson, Edmonton's assistant coach who focuses on the defensive side of the game, as the reason for that. But at the end of the day, Jay Woodcroft is the one making the decisions behind the bench and should be taking just as much blame for the paltry penalty kill. Now, for the second part of the question. Will the Oilers fire Jay Woodcroft? In my opinion, Woodcroft is going to be fired, but I also believe that he will not be the only one let go. No matter what happens against the Seattle Kraken tonight, I believe Ken Holland, Jay Woodcroft, and Dave Manson will all be let go before Edmonton returns home from their West Coast road trip. A team with Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl in their prime should not be 2-9-1. Call it bad luck. Call it whatever. The fact is the Oilers are currently sitting in 31st place in the NHL standings over a month into the season. This is a failure from top to bottom. Ken Holland has constructed a deeply flawed team that relies too heavily on McDavid and Dreisaitl to outscore their flaws. The team is tight against the salary cap and has no room to acquire any help without a contract going the other way. To make the playoffs, Edmonton will likely need 90 points in their final 70 games. Is it doable? Absolutely. 
Is it likely to happen under Jay Woodcroft's watch? Absolutely not. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to follow, like, and subscribe for more honky content in the future. Appreciate it. Take care, guys.